Now, indirect talks between Tehran and Washington have resumed in Vienna. The talks aim to salvage the 2015 nuclear deal. Since Iran has refused to hold direct talks with the United States, EU's Enrique Mora is coordinating the talks between the United States and Iranian officials. Now, European Union's foreign policy chief, Azeb Borrell, has warned that there is no room left for further major compromises, although, according to reports, an EU official has said that some progress was being made in the negotiation between the United States and Iran, including guarantees that the United States would obstruct the deal by going back on their word. Now, would not obstruct the deal, pardon me. The EU official said, and I'm quoting here, we, we have now quite substantial guarantees that it may understand, in my, that it's my understanding that Iran is happy and feels satisfied with what is next. As part of the negotiation, Iran's demand to remove Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps from the United States officials' blacklist of foreign terrorist organizations has been dropped from the discussions for now. Further, Iran and the United States are yet to agree on issues related to lifting of sanctions. The United States is adamant on Iran accepting this deal. U.S. National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby said, and I'm quoting here, you've heard the president say we're not going to wait forever for Iran to take this deal. Clearly, time does appear to be getting very short in terms of being able to get a deal. Little remains of the 2015 deal which lifted sanctions against Tehran in, excha in exchange for restrictions on its nuclear program. But then, President Donald Trump dished the uh, deal in 2018 and reimposed harsh sanctions and then in response Tehran breached the deal in several ways including by rebuilding stocks of enriched uranium. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.